project. Anyone who's tried to drive on or off Cape Cod in the last couple of weeks knows traffic is awful. Masta thought that a light might fix the problem, but we have a live look at the conditions for you. You can see a lot of red there on the roadways, and drivers tell WBZ's Bill Shields this fix is failing. When they started repair work on the Sagamore Bridge, you knew there would be traffic headings. Mass Dot decided to put up this temporary stoplight so the merge on the Cape side would be easier. I think they can merge on their own. I think it holds people back a lot. Some days it's backed up a few miles. So The traffic on the feeder ramp sits for two minutes as Route 6 traffic inches along. Then the Route 6 westbound traffic stops while the ramp traffic gets to go. Not all drivers like the stoplight. Everybody likes to push two people in, three people in. Nobody wants to let someone go. It's kind of like everybody's kids and they're being punished, so now you get a light. For years, drivers have merged here with only a few angry hand gestures. But now, there's a temporary light. Is a light necessary? No. You don't like the light? No. Mass DOT says numbers indicate the light is helping. But at peak hours, the traffic is jamming up side roads in Sandwich, which concerns first responders. Uh, we got to fight our way through the traffic. Uh, there's the other side of uh, Sandwich. Uh, Scusset Beach is part of Sandwich, so we have to go up and over the bridge. Whether you agree or disagree with the traffic light, the construction and the traffic will continue till almost Memorial Day. Sagamore, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Well,